Adorama TV presents Getting the Shot with Corey Rich. Hi, I'm Corey Rich, and you are watching Adorama TV. Adorama is the place where I buy all things photo and video. In this episode of Exploring the Creative Process, I'm going to talk about a photograph that I shot of the Jackson family several years ago. The Jacksons are really close friends. I've, I've had the opportunity to work with the Jacksons, gosh, for almost a decade, almost 15 years, and they're the best whitewater kayaking family in the world. Eric is a multi-time world champion and Olympian. Dane's a multi-time world champion. Emily's a world champion. They're, in, they're the dynasty of kayaking, this family. And on, an, on a regular basis, I check in with the Jacksons. I visit them either someplace internationally or at their home in Rock Island, Tennessee. Sometimes it's for a commercial assignment, and oftentimes it's just for fun. It's an excuse to hang out with my friends and make cool pictures. What I really want you to take away from this episode is that oftentimes what you preconceive as the photograph or the safe shots are not the best photographs. In any shoot that I'm doing, specifically with the Jacksons, I start with the safe stuff. I'm making pictures that I know will satisfy the needs of editors or of my assignment. Let's go to the river and shoot kayaking. Let's shoot them walking to the river with the kayaks on their shoulder. Let's shoot them loading the kayaks onto the top of the car. But part of the fun of being a photographer and photographing real moments is that you have the opportunity to just relax and hang out and tell stories. And sometimes in those environments, as a collective, the talent or the subjects or the people that you're photographing combined with the photographer, the storyteller, we come up with ideas that are even more interesting. In this particular situation, we had shot all morning and uh, Eric, Dane, Emily, and Christine and I were all hanging out in front of the house, loading kayaks back onto the top of the mini. And Eric suggested, why don't we actually put the kids in the kayaks on top of the car? And that would make for a pretty fun photograph. Instantly, a light bulb went off in my head, and that's the point. You've got to be open-minded as a photographer. I'm the first to admit I don't have all of the great ideas. Listening to the people that I'm working with, listening to the people around me, vetting those ideas oftentimes leads to the coolest pictures. So, of course, we found a stretch of road just around the corner from their house, and they started slowly coming around the corner. Eventually, we ramped it up. They felt comfortable with the idea. So we did a number of passes, and all of the elements began to come together. It takes sketching, right? It takes shooting frames, evolving the picture until finally it's the picture that you are really aiming to create. In this situation, I think the elements that make it interesting, of course, it's nice light, great action, a fantastic moment, everyone's hands in the air, everyone's having fun, that backlight coming through the dust, and just that right section of road where they're on the horizon line with the clean background. Now, I shot this on film years ago. Today, I certainly would have used a Nikon D4S because I want that speed. I want as many frames, 11.5 frames per second. Uh, I was on a 300 millimeter f2.8 lens. Of course, I'd be using that same lens today. Maybe I would have gone to a 200 to 400 f4 so that I could really vary my focal length, yet still have that compression and speed. And of course, I would be relying on SanDisk Extreme Pro cards so that I have maximum capacity and reliability. So I'm shallow depth of field, roughly f4, and I want a minimum of a thousandth of a second in terms of shutter speed. I really want to stop the action, the dust particles flying in the background. I want you know sharp subjects in the foreground. So shallow depth of field, relatively wide open aperture, fast shutter speed so that I can freeze the action, and I'm daylight white balanced. Of course, I'm shooting in beautiful, daylight slightly overcast with a little backlight and it made for just a perfect situation with that dust flying in a great moment. I hope what you take away from this spot is that as a photographer you go in with preconceived ideas but those aren't always the best images or the best content. Be open-minded, listen to the people, collaborate with the people that you're working with and see if you can't come up with something even better than the safe shots and most importantly have fun in the process. There's tons of free content just like this published on a regular basis at Adorama TV. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and come on back for more free content. I'm Corey Rich. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you soon. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest. There's tons of cool stuff that you can win. Do you want 
great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.